Well, we got an update on Sony's plans for their Spider-Verse, and if you're excited for a good update, don't be, because this is another Sony's got a Sony in part. So let's talk about Phil Lord and Chris Miller, the producers of the entire Spider-Verse, and how they are not going to continue their work with Sony once their contract is up. This will affect animation and everything in live action. Okay, so for those not aware, Phil Lord and Chris Miller were the duo responsible for bringing us the Lego movie. And after that huge success, they were two of the most sought out talents in Hollywood. Of course, some time would go by and Sony would be able to secure them and give them the range to everything Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse. This first started with the animated side of things, which of course included the Miles Morales films, and that was separate from the live action stuff. And then once Marvel Studios got their hands on Spider-Man, there was some uh, problems that were happening behind the scenes with Sony in regards to their own projects, but that doesn't involve them just yet. What happened was that they were then attached to work on the live action TV offerings that have been in development since 2018 or 2019, depending on who you ask and the first reports. And what's happened is that they essentially were um, not able to deliver what was needed of the Silk project, which of course ended up getting canceled earlier this year. And then things seem to be going smoothly with the upcoming Spider-Man Noir project, but apparently what we see at face value isn't as smooth as one would be led to believe. Because per a report that just hit, the budget to Spider-Man Noir had a extremely heated debate, conversation, and a fight between Lord and Miller versus Amazon and Sony. And the fallout of this is that their contract will not be renewed because of what they were doing. And also the fact that everything that they've been attached to so far has exponentially increased its budget more than what was initially allowed. Meaning that they are spending way more than anybody agreed upon, not delivering content as good as everybody thought they would, and also that they seem to be some sort of control freaks, which then takes us to the animated side of things, because if you guys remember, and we talked about this, they were notorious for pretty much pushing crunch on the people working on the animated side of Spider-Man. And some employees were working upwards of 90 to 100 hours without extra pay to just finish up last minute changes that these guys wanted. Hence why we are talking about the next Spider-Verse film being delayed two to three years out. Apparently, it was straight back to scrap everything we did at the time we were working on the second film and change all of Beyond the Spider-Verse meaning that the cost of that project has grown so astronomically that it is not acceptable and their contracts are just being, well, they're not being pulled or like torn up. They're just not going to renew them. Now, this is quite a disaster for Sony, but it's also not Sony's fault in this case, really, because these guys just look at everything they've been attached to and some of the uh, things that have been said and how they conduct themselves and, uh, you're going to start to understand what's going on here. And honestly, you got to hope for the best here, but something tells me that Sony might just need to find some new partners and start developing projects with them. And maybe once these guys are gone, maybe Disney's going to be the option because there's even some doubt whether or not Amazon's going to continue to work with Sony due to the bad relationship and how much money was sunk working with these two, which is a whole problem within itself in terms of how much money they've taken and delivered nothing. 